الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ومولانا محمد حبيب رب العالمين وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين وأصحابه الغر الميامين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask him to send his peace and blessings upon our master Sayyiduna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam upon his blessed family loyal companions and all of those who followed after them with excellence up until the day of standing amina amina amin thereafter the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam he had great concern for his own children but he also had great concern for his grandchildren and for all other children who were in his vicinity in his location and whenever he would see children he would give them great concern and great attention Sayyiduna Anas radiallahu an who was a young chap in the presence of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said ma ra'aytu ahadan kana arhama bil iyali min rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sayyiduna Anas said I never ever saw anybody who was more merciful with his family than the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this is of great importance to all of us because often times we see that when people leave their homes, they become very merciful people. And when they come into the enclosure of their homes, they become uh, the tyrants of the time. Right? They become the lions at home, but uh, outside of the house, they become very soft and very gentle and very easygoing. This shouldn't be the case. The case should be that a person should be soft and gentle and more merciful to those who are close to one than those who are distant. Sayyidina Anas radiallahu anh said, I never saw anybody who was more merciful to the family than the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he gave an example. He said, Kana Ibrahimu mustardi'an fi awali al-Madina. He said, the son of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ibrahim, he was being nursed in one of the high areas of Madina al-Munawwara known as al-Awali. So he said, Fakana yantariqu. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to go to visit him. And listen to this beautiful story. So Sayyidina Ibrahim, he's being nursed in this area of Medina known as Awali. Sayyidina Anas said, the Prophet used to go, وَنَحْنُ مَعَهُ And we used to go with him to the house in which he was being nursed. And he would go there, فَيَأْخُذُ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمَ إِبْنَهُ الْمُسْتَرْضِعِ He would pick up his baby child who is being nursed, i.e. Ibrahim, فَيُقَبِّلُهُ ثُمَّ يَرْجِعُ He would go into that house, pick up his baby child, kiss him, and then he would return back to his home in Madinatul Munawwara. He would travel all that distance from his masjid, from his chamber, from his house, to go and kiss his child and come back. What does that show us? The amount of affection and love that the Prophet ﷺ poured upon children. And he said, فَلَمَّا تُوُفِّيَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ When this baby child Ibrahim passed away, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِنَّ إِبْرَاهِيمْ إِبْنِي Ibrahim is my child. وَإِنَّهُ مَاتَ فِي الثَّدْيِ And he passed away and he died whilst he was being breastfed. وَإِنَّ لَهُ لَظِئْرَيْنِ And he will have two women who will nurse him. مُرْضِعَتَيْنِ تُكَمِّلَانِ رَضَاعَهُ فِي الْجَنَّةِ he will have two women in the gardens of paradise in Jannah who will complete for him his cycle of being breastfed. Even this baby child, when he passes away, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will prepare for him two women who will breastfeed him and complete his, his milk in, in, in the next life. Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim radiallahu anhuma narrate from Sayyiduna Anas radiallahu anhu, he said, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said, Inni la adkhulu fi salati uridu italataha. The Prophet said, Sometimes I begin my prayer and I really want to prolong it and extend it and stand in prayer for a long period of time. فَأَسْمَعُ بُكَاءَ الصَّبِي And then whilst in my prayer, I hear the cry of a child. فَأَتَجَوَّزُ فِي صَلَاتِي So then I hurry and hasten and quickly finish my prayer min ummihi, Because I know that the child, uh, that the mother of this child will be worried now. 
So he would want to extend his prayer. He would want to prolong his prayer. But because he hears the cry of a child, he would hurry his prayer, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Which means what? That even whilst in the presence of the divine, even whilst in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was pouring his love and affection onto children who he could hear their cry while standing in prayer, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim, radiyallahu anhumah, narrate from Sayyida Aisha radiyallahu anha, the mother of the believing people, that she said, قَبَّلَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ الْحَسَنَ وَالْحُسَيْنِ إِبْنَيْ عَلِي She said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kissed Al-Hasan and Hussein, the two children of Ali radiyallahu anh. وَعِنْدَهُ الْأَقْرَعِ ibnu Habis. Whilst a companion whose name was Al-Aqra' was there in the presence of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What did Al-Aqra' see? Al-Aqra' saw that the Prophet was kissing Al-Hasan wal Hussein. What did he say? He said, Awa tuqabbilu abna'ak? He said, Messenger of Allah, you kiss your children? And the Prophet said, Of course, yes. And the man said, Inna li ashratu abna'a ma qabbaltu ahadam minhum. I've got 10 children, I've never kissed any of them. Oof. He said, I've got 10 children, I've never kissed any of them. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to him, وَمَاذَا أَفْعَلُوا إِذَا كَانَ اللَّهُ قَدْ نَزَعَ الرَّحْمَةَ مِنْ قَلْبِكَ He said, what can I do for you if Allah has stripped mercy from your heart? He said, مَنْ لَا يَرْحَمْ لَا يُرْحَمْ And those who don't show mercy, mercy is not shown to them. The Prophet said, what can I do for you if there's no mercy in your heart that you can't kiss a child, that you don't show affection to children, then I can't help you in any way. The Prophet ﷺ demonstrated and he showed that by kissing a child, this is showing that child affection and love and concern. Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim and Imam Tirmidhi radiallahu anhum, they narrate from Sayyiduna al-Bara ibn Azib radiallahu anh, he said that رَأَيْتُ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ He said, I saw the messenger of Allah صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَالْحَسَنُ عَلَىٰ عَاتِقِهِ Whilst his child Al-Hasan was upon his shoulder. He said, I saw the Prophet whilst his child Al-Hasan was sitting upon his shoulder. And the Prophet said, Allahumma inni uhibbuhu fa'ahibbah. Oh Allah, I love him. So I ask you that you love him also. Imam Al-Tirmidhi radiallahu anh narrates from Sayyiduna Anas radiallahu anh. He said, سُئِلَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was asked, Ayyu ahli baytika ahabba ilayk? Which of your family is most beloved to you? Which of your family is most beloved to you? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa replied and he said, Al-Hasan wal-Husayn. <laughs>